Mrs. Bass. District 1, Mike Mergio. Here. District 2, Chuck Shaw. Here. District 3, Karen Brill. District 4, Jennifer Pryor Brown. Here. District 5, Frank Barbieri. Here. District 6, Marcia Andrews. Here. District 7, Deborah Robinson. Here. We have a quorum. Our first item is a review and approval of minutes. We have items one through six. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Motion by Mr. Barbieri, second by Mrs. Andrews. Any discussion? Seeing none, we'll call the question. All in favor? All opposed. Motion carries 7 0. Mr. Jenner, are there any items to add? No. Any items to withdraw? No. Are there any items that the board would like to pull from the consent agenda? We have one item pulled, and that was P2. Are there any other items you'd like to pull? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve the agenda? Motion by Mr. Barbieri, second by Mrs. Brill. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, all opposed. Motion carries 7 0. Are there any abstentions or um, disclosures? Seeing none, we'll move on. Um, any comments anybody would like to make? Okay, doesn't look like it. So we have no speaker scheduled. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? Motion by Mr. Barberi, second by Mrs. Andrews. Any discussion? Nothing else you want to pull? All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries 7 0. Mr. Gent, um, the first item is P2. Recommend approval of the job descriptions as submitted. Your motion to approve. Motion by Mrs. Brill, second by Mrs. Andrews. Discussion? I think it was pulled by Mrs. Brown. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair, and I appreciate the um, explanation that was given as to the reason behind these job descriptions, and, and I agree that it makes sense to have progressive um, years of experience required f uh, for the more experienced um, positions. My question to general counsel, and she and I had a conversation about it, is with specifically with respect to general counsel and deputy general counsel, the way general counsel now reads under qualifications at number three is, 10 or more years of successful experience as an attorney for a public agency. And general counsel actually just thought it required 10 or more years of, of successful experience as an attorney. And um, when I pointed out that it actually says for a public agency, we discussed the fact that that could preclude um, an attorney who had spent his or her, or her entire career um, representing school districts, but through a private law firm. And um, so I'm suggesting a modification to the general counsel and deputy general counsel job descriptions at line three under qualifications to change it from 10 or more years of successful experience as an attorney for a public agency to as an attorney representing a public agency. Is that what we had? Discussed, Ms. Rico. Uh, is that a motion, then, Mrs. Brown? Yes. Sir. Motion is second by Mr. Barbieri. Any discussion? I think it's a good change, so I totally support it. So, any other discussion? Seeing none, we'll call the question. All those in favor? All those opposed? Motion carries 7 0. Before we adjourn, I have to give you the last two deliverables. Um, one of them was working with the business community on the capital budget, and the second one was um, the follow-up with the choice program. Mrs. Bass, is there something else? We have to vote on the main motion. Oh, that's right. Okay, we, we approved the amendment. Is there? We have the, the we have a motion for the um, the amended uh, motion. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? All opposed? Motion carries 7 0. Is there a motion to adjourn? Mr. Barbieri, second by Mrs. Andrews. All in favor? All opposed? Mr. Barbieri, I think you got every single motion today at this meeting. We stand adjourned.